Gentlemen, congratulations on your nominations and thank you for your lifetime of service and thanks to your families for your service and support to your missions as well. Uh, General Gio, you believe that as part of, part of your mission as the NORTHCOM commander is aerospace control over the continental United States, correct? Yes, Senator. Domestically, there are reports of over 57 drone incursions over nuclear sites since 2015 and at least 510 unidentified aerial objects reports since 2004, centered around restricted and sensitive airspace with around half of those reported in the last two years. How do you view NORTHCOM's role in defense against the threat from such unmanned aerial vehicles? Uh, Senator, is, it is a uh, role, uh, to my understanding, that NORAD and NORTHCOM share with, uh, with the services uh, that have been delegated authorities around their installations to, to protect those. And then the NORAD responsibility picks up generally in the uh, airspace structure above, uh, above those facilities. Okay. Um, I don't want to go into depth rehashing the Chinese balloon incident from earlier this year. Um, but in general, if a malign actor illegally flies an aircraft over American territory with malign intent, do you believe that we should shoot it down? Senator, I absolutely believe we should shoot it down if it's demonstrated hostile act or hostile intent. Okay. Um, are you aware that there were more than 10,000 violations of our airspace uh, with drone aircraft conducting intelligence operations last year? And given the threat we've seen that drones pose in Ukraine, increasingly in Russia, um, uh, how significant are your concerns about those violations of our airspace? S Senator, I'm, I'm very concerned about any airspace violations. Certainly uh, the unmanned uh, capabilities that, that you're mentioning uh, bring a new dimension that we haven't had to see in, uh, in the recent years. And if I'm confirmed, that would uh, take a great deal of my attention to address that. Good. Uh, the vast majority of those incursions uh, were conducted by Mexican cartels in support of drug smuggling activities. In fact, the U.S. Border Patrol chief has said that we don't have operational control of the southern border. Given how drones, drones are now being used in Ukraine and in Russia, um, how do you view the loss of operational control at our southern border and the failure to establish aerospace control as a threat there to our ability to defend our homeland and our people? S Senator, uh, I, I know it sounds trite, but I, I firmly believe that uh, border security is national security. and. Uh, if I'm confirmed, the uh, number one priority I would have is to defend the homeland and, and certainly border security uh, is at the top of that. So I would be very concerned about any loss of sovereignty uh, in the airspace or the ground uh, of our borders. Good, thank you for that. According to DHS data, uh, Customs and Border Protection encounter more than 100 Russians attempting to illegally enter the United States every month near just a single location on the U.S.-Mexico border. Russian military intelligence has more officers deployed to Mexico than any other country in the world. The current NORTHCOM commander has described China and Russia as, quote, very, very aggressive and active in NORTHCOM. Uh, we've seen what happened with the Chinese spy balloon. We know that China is setting up shop in Cuba, which I understand is technically not a part of your area of responsibility, but it's pretty close. Yes, it is. In the same way that North Korea and China are in a part of your area of responsibility, but they project threats into that area. How do you view these actions uh, by Russia and China to our south as a threat to our homeland? Senator, I view the uh, actions you described as a, a very serious threat and, and one that if confirmed, I will watch very closely. Uh, as you alluded to, it's not just in the air that NORAD and NORTHCOM uh, pr protect the uh, homeland, uh, but also through, through all domains, including the ground. Indeed. Um, it's probably the case that Aldra James, for instance, was recruited by Russian intelligence in Mexico City. And we know it's a class that, case that Russians, Russian agents stuck a ice pick into Trotsky's head in Mexico. So again, that threat is genuine and real to the United States. One final question. Uh, at least 98 terrorists were caught on the southern border last year, and that doesn't include any potential gotaways that we don't know about. Uh, General Carrillo said last year it was that it was his commander's estimate that ISIS K could conduct an external operation against the United States or Western interest abroad in about six months, perhaps with little to no warning. Two years ago, an Iraqi man in the United States hatched a plot uh, to bring ISIS operatives through our southern border to assassinate former President Bush. Um, given your experience as the deputy commander in the Middle East, um, can you draw upon that to help secure our southern border from terrorist attack and ensure it does not become yet a new vector for attack? 
Senator, if I'm confirmed, I absolutely will draw on the experiences from Central Command, cooperation with uh, Special Operations Command, and then uh, new and lasting relationships with law enforcement agencies here in the homeland to ensure that any of the threats that General Carrilla is effectively uh, addressing overseas do not make it to our to our homeland. Okay, thank you. Thank you for your testimony. General Whiting, I know you're disappointed you didn't get lots of hard questions from me, but maybe next time. Yes, sir. Thank you.